the smallest pixel of our reality, they kind of measure. Yeah. <laughs> if we zoom into the smallest scales of the universe, we find pixels and frame rate. If we just keep zooming in more and more to the scales smaller than atoms, we reach an entirely new domain of physics mm. where our intuition completely breaks down. <laughs> At this scale, particles don't even definitively exist in yeah. space and time. Their position and velocity is inherently uncertain. And that's not a problem with our measuring devices. Mm. It is built into the very nature of quantum particles. They just are uncertain. Now, if we just keep zooming like as far as we can go, we reach a limit of how small a distance can be. This is the Planck length. Okay after Max Planck, I guess. Yeah, and if we try to observe something smaller than the Planck length, it would require so much energy that we would create a black hole. Ooh. The universe prevents you from being able to measure anything smaller than this distance. So all we need to do is define a cube with the side lengths of the Planck length and we have our 3D universal pixel. Mm. Crazy, right? Remember, nothing travels faster than light. So if you measure the amount of time, it takes light the fastest speed. We travel the Planck length, the shortest distance, we get the Planck second. This is our universal frame rate. What if the key to interstellar travel is to unlock that Planck length?